everybody welcome to my channel health fitness 1047 today we would like to welcome you for visiting my channel here is official news let's see One below deck Mediterranean star Nathan Gallagher reveals unexpected death of a loved one below deck Mediterranean star Nathan Gallagher lost a loved one recently, which he revealed during the Monday September 2nd episode of the Bravo series. While opening up in a confessional, the season 9 Declan explained how he found out that a close friend died following a battle with cancer. So. I get this text saying that my friend has passed away from cancer, Nathan told the cameras. I knew he had cancer, but the night before I came to join the boat. We were out drinking later on in the episode, Nathan opened up about why his friend's death affected him. He pointed out that his mother experienced a cancer scare. My mom was going through tests for cancer recently. Nathan said, Nathan also spoke with his fellow deckhand Gail Cameron. During their heart-to-heart, -heart, Nathan confessed that he didn't know why so sensitive to the situation. Who cares if you're sensitive, man? Nathan then pointed out to his co-star that it's really f-king hard, dealing with this. Adding, I'm really struggling to cope with it. The tearful conversation brought Gail and Nathan closer, as she pointed out that this was definitely a different side of Nathan, to see. He obviously has a very sensitive spot that he doesn't show that often, and it just hurts to see him upset, Gail said during a confessional. I feel like Nathan was there for me when I was going through a hard time with my ex, and I just want him to know that I'm here for him too. Their co-star Joe Bradley conveyed a similar sentiment about Nathan. During his respective confessional, Joe acknowledged that this must for so hard for Nathan to deal with, too. Vanna White reveals she was very scared about chemistry with Ryan Seacrest as co-hosts on Wheel of Fortune. Vanna White has revealed that after her over 40-year tenure on Wheel of Fortune alongside co-host Pat Sajak, she initially had some fears about her chemistry with his successor, Ryan Seacrest but in the past couple of months, we've done some traveling together for the show. And we got to know each other a little better, too. Sajak, 77, announced in June 2023 that he was leaving Wheel of Fortune after hosting the game show for 41 seasons, since 1981. I've decided that our 41st season, which begins in September, will be my last, Sajak wrote in a statement shared on X at the time. That same month, Sony Pictures Television, which produces the game show, announced Seacrest as his replacement, signing him to a multi-year deal to host the long-running show. I'm truly humbled to be stepping into the footsteps of the legendary Pat Sajak. I can say, along with the rest of America, that it's been a privilege and pure joy to watch Pat and Vanna on our television screens for an unprecedented 40 years. Making us smile every night and feel right at home with them, Seacrest said in a statement following the announcement on June 6. White gave a heartfelt speech honoring Sajak's legacy and praising their longtime friendship in a video. 3. One Tree Hill, reboot in the works with Sophia Bush and Hilary Burden set to return as the storyline unfolds. Viewers witness their evolving relationship and the drama among their high school friends. According to Variety, Sophia, Hilary, and Daniil will serve as executive producers for the upcoming reboot with Chappelle Rohn's Feminomenon playing in the background, she continued, There's only One Tree Hill. After Ali So Wanna Hear, previously on One Tree Hill, one user wrote. 
According to Deadline, the reboot will take place 20 years later. Following the story of best friends Brooke and Peyton's children as they navigate their own dramas, similar to those their mothers faced in the original series. While many fans are excited about the show's return, some are hoping for more of the original cast to come back, particularly Chad Michael Murray, 43, James Lafferty, 39, and Bethany Joy Lenz, 43. It won't work without Nailey. They were the heart of One Tree Hill for all nine seasons, one fan expressed. 4. Is Artem Chigvintsev returning to DWTS after domestic violence arrest? Artem Chigvintsev's recent arrest has sparked speculation regarding his Dancing with the Stars return. According to TMZ, paramedics were called to Chigvintsev and wife Nikki Garcia's home on August 29, 2024, for an unspecified medical emergency. However, the unidentified person called emergency responders back to cancel the request. According to online jail records viewed by Hollywood Life, Chigvintsev was arrested at 9.59 a.m. per TMZ. Chigvintsev was arrested for felony corporal injury to spouse or cohabitant. One day after Chigvintsev was arrested, Page Six reported that he would not be returning to Dancing with the Stars for season 33. There were no plans for Artem to be a part of season 33, an insider told the outlet. ABC has not publicly commented on Chigvintsev's return. Just days before his arrest, Chigvintsev and Garcia celebrated their second wedding anniversary for her part, Garcia shared a video, which featured clips of her and Chigvintsev with their son, Mateo, in addition to shots from their wedding ceremony. In her caption, the Total Bellas alum wrote the lyrics to Elvis Presley's song, Can't Help Falling in Love. This song is our love story, Garcia wrote in her Instagram caption. I'll never forget where I was when I asked Jesus about Artem and then this song came on 5. Wizards Beyond Waverly Place, sets release date. Raven Simone and Danielle Fischel are directing the plot of Wizards Beyond Waverly Place focuses on one major character's human life away from the wizard world alongside a brand new cast just a few days. Before that, Selena and some of her co-stars were seen in the first apparent behind-the-scenes photos from the set of the sequel Selena is appearing in the show's pilot episode. However, it is not currently known whether she will return as Alex Russo in the subsequent episodes. The Hulu actress TV brother, David Henry, is reprising his role as Justin Russo as a series regular. The original series starred Jake T. Austin as Max, David DeLuise as Jerry, Jennifer Stone as Harper and Maria Canals Barrera as Teresa. Other stars included Greg Sulkin as Alex's boyfriend, Mason, and Bridget Mendler as Justin's girlfriend, Juliet. In response to a social media comment, David reassured fans that he and the rest of the OGs are planning on coming back for the new series. We definitely plan on bringing back the original cast for the series order, David commented. Per the outlet, the new series will show Justin living a normal life away from the wizard world. Following a mysterious incident at Wizard Tech, a powerful young wizard named Billy needs training and seeks Justin's help. However, the now adult Justin is living life as a human with his wife and kids. When Jimmy Kimmel asked Selena about the reboot in a February 2024 interview, she explained that he wasn't using the right terminology for the show I was excited to bring the characters back. The first two episodes will premiere on the Disney Channel on October 29 at 8 p.m. E.T. Disney Plus will stream the first eight episodes on October 30, according to multiple outlets. Raven's home star Raven Simone and Boy Meets World alum Danielle Fischel are directing episodes of season one. The series reportedly ended in order for Selena to obtain different acting roles. 6. The Bachelorette Reunion Men Tell All Recap As Jen Narrows Down Who Will Receive Her Final Rose, Bachelor Nation watched all the season's drama unfold. 
The last time Jen and Jonathan saw each other was during their split in Hawaii on the Fantasy Suite episode on Monday, August 26, where Devin and Marcus were chosen to move forward to the final proposal. During that episode, viewers saw Jonathan fail to confess his love to Jen quickly enough during their first confrontation since the breakup. Jonathan complimented Jen on her green dress, his favorite. So, thank you for everything, which led Jen to thank him for all the memories. The night continued with Jen speaking to Sam N, who had never had a girlfriend before this experience. He reminisced about his relationship with Jen, and she wished him the best as he searched for his second girlfriend. Jen also addressed the drama with Sam M who was eliminated and left without a rose after telling Jen he loved her but couldn't explain why. The upcoming Bachelor star, Grant Ellis, also made an appearance to share the lessons he learned from his former girlfriend, Jen, that he plans to carry into his journey to find love. The thing I'm going to take from Jen is to stay true to yourself ultimately, I'm so proud of you. You're a role model, and I'm happy for you and proud. Jen is close to finding her forever soulmate as her final two head into the finale, which airs on September 3rd on ABC, Hulu, and Disney+. Plus. 7. Netflix expands crime series based on Lyle and Eric Menendez murder case Netflix is expanding its crime category with an upcoming series based on the case of Lyle and Eric Menendez. The two brothers, who were 21 and 18 years old when they murdered their parents in 1989, were found guilty of killing Jose and Mary Louise Menendez and were sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Despite growing up in a wealthy family, thanks to their father's work in the entertainment industry, Lyle and Eric claimed during their court trials that they suffered from physical, emotional, and sexual abuse throughout their childhood. The official trailer, released on Tuesday, August 27, shows the Menendez family posing for a portrait while the parents' voices play in the background 8. Emily in Paris' Season 4 Part 2 takes place in Rome. Watch trailer The teaser reveals that Emily is dealing with romance drama with Gabriel, and she jets off to Italy. Per her best friend's encouragement, for once, do something spontaneous and reckless and on Emily, Mindy tells Emily. Just have an adventure. After arriving in Rome, Emily may have found a new boyfriend named Marcello. The two spend time together, and Mindy seemingly acknowledges that this could be a new flame for Emily. Throughout the trailer, Emily basks in the stunning views of Rome but he's still close with his ex Camille which seemingly drives a wedge in between him and Emily. Per the streamer's official synopsis for Part 2, Emily and Gabriel's chemistry is undeniable as they work together towards a Michelin star, but two big secrets threaten to undo everything they've dreamed of. Once she's made the decision to try things out with Gabriel, which I'm happy she's finally making a decision, she has to deal with the repercussions of that, the Netflix star explained. And we get to see a new growth in her, because she's had to make a decision.